experts at the Good Housekeeping Institute Beauty Lab tested dozens of sunscreens to help find the right SPF for you. Their beauty director, April Franzino, joins us now. April, good morning. Thanks for being here as people are at the beach, a big topic. Let's start with the science. How did Good Housekeeping go through this process and what are the factors you're considering? Yeah, so our beauty lab at Good Housekeeping intensively test these products. So they tested both face and body sunscreens on almost 500 people of different skin tones from fair to super dark to make sure that they work and that they're appealing to use because that's super important. So they are evaluated on their scent, their texture, how easy they apply, how they look and feel on your skin after they're applied, and of course, how well they protect against sun damage. So all those factors. Is there a sunscreen that's better for one skin tone from another? So all of the winners in our tests work for every skin tone because that's super important to us. There are some that, that we tested that didn't work so well. And so we really want to make sure that we're recommending the ones that are universal and anybody can grab them and use them in their everyday life. So Nikki and I, we can use the same one yes. basically? <laughs> yes, okay, you definitely right. can. Uh, so which sunscreen came out on top? So the number one body sunscreen in our test was this one from Rodan and Fields. And this is the Essentials Face and Body Sunscreen. So you can use it on both, which is great. SPF 50 and it applied easily, it absorbed quickly, it didn't leave that white cast on your skin, so it works on all tones. Um, it protected against the sun, which is super important. It also didn't transfer on fabric, so like your bathing suit and whatever you might be putting on. Um, and our, our users really just loved it across the board. They said it was more like a lotion, moisturizer, than a sunscreen. They also love the $10 Hawaiian Tropic that was yes. tested, right? Yep. So there Tell is, us about that one. So yeah, if you want a great value at the drugstore, Hawaiian Tropic antioxidant lotion SPF 50 was a great choice too. This one didn't dehydrate skin. It didn't irritate. It also had great sun protection and everybody loved the scent. It had that tropical <laughs> Hawaiian it tropic is. beachy scent. And so that's what's so important. And non-greasy. Right? Not greasy. Wanna, not don't want to be out there cooking. No, exactly. you're not sticky or tacky. So it's really important that people want to use the sunscreen and it's, it smells nice and it feels nice because otherwise you're just not going to use it. <laughs> what about expiration dates? Can sunscreen expire? Uh -huh. Mine's been sitting in my closet for five years. Oh, it definitely does. Does. I've had experiences with this too. So if you open your sunscreen and it's separated or it smells bad, don't use it. Um, and also you want to look at the date. The FDA requires that brands put a, an expiration date on the bottle of the sunscreen. Okay. And if you don't see one, it's, it's actually tested to be effective for up to three years. But that being said, we usually recommend if it's open, don't use it after a year because it may be not as effective and you don't want to just be putting something on and get burned not knowing that it's not working anymore. So. What about the kitties? So yeah, for, for children, we really recommend using a mineral sunscreen formula. So these are made with zinc oxide or titanium dioxide or both, and they're really usually more mild on skin. So you want something very gentle. And Neutrogena has a great one, um, which is pure and free baby sunscreen, SPF 50. Our experts in the Gadoscopy Institute use this for both their own sensitive skin and their children and their babies. Um, super gentle and really high um, waterproofing. So SPF, um, so the SPF 50 and the 80 minute water resistance. So if you can actually get it on your child, yes. always that's it. always a good that's always a, get off me, mom. a test. What about the water resistant yeah. sunscreens? How effective are water. they? water. Yeah. yeah. So there's actually no such thing as a waterproof or sweat proof sunscreen. But sunscreens can either be labeled as water resistant for 40 minutes or water resistant for 80 minutes. And so that means if you're in the water or you are sweating, you have to reapply it after that time period. So you can't go the two hours normally recommended. Um, but you'll, you, it'll be covered up to that point. Show us how to apply properly and oh, some of the tips yes. we need to know. Okay. Yeah, so that's the thing. Most people don't apply as much sunscreen as you're supposed to to get the SPF value on the package. Supposed so, to put a healthy amount on? Yeah, a good amount. So okay. we recommend two tablespoons, and this is a recommendation, you know, dermatologists use, two tablespoons for your whole body. And then for your face, you want to use a nickel-sized dollop, which is not too bad. So you, like... Roughly want about this much for your face. Okay, I've been way uh, off on my yeah. isn't, it, isn't it like so, a shot glass amount for your yeah, body? Yeah, same as a shot glass, just about the same. Okay. reason to take a shot glass. I'm just yeah. taking it, squeezing it in my hands, and I'm just lathering <laughs> yeah, my just whole take body. Yeah, just taking a bath in it. Um, but generally, you want to if you have a, you're out for a whole beach day, you might almost use a whole bottle of sunscreen. Oh, well, so, we appreciate yeah. you, April Franzino. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.